said during the Great Depression, no country, however rich, can afford the waste of its student resources. It is our greatest extravagance. And morally, it is the greatest sense for our social order. Unfortunately, these words still apply today. Uh, as I said, I'm testifying, I'm taking my, my chair's hat off for the moment and testifying before you simply as a sponsor of Senate 253 and our relative to universal pre kindergarten access. Uh, I also want to pause and thank uh, many members of the committee who are also uh, co sponsors of this legislation Senator Corey, Senator Jalen, Senator Battalion, uh, Senator Moore, who's on the committee, which was with us earlier. Um, so I'm here to testify in that role, but I will say unabashedly as a chair that it is my firm belief that early education is the single most critical issue facing this committee this session. I could quote countless statistics, I'm sure you will hear many today, um, about improved outcomes for our K-12 education system, reduced incidences of special education, reduced costs when it comes to that um, for our K-12 districts outside of returns on investment, smaller achievement gaps. But I won't go into the depth of all the statistics because the fact of the matter is that most of you in this room and in this building uh, are well acquainted with these facts and have been so uh, for several years in many cases. Yet somehow we have managed not to provide this most profound resource for the children of the Commonwealth. How is this happening? How is it that in the face of all of this evidence that we have not yet made universal quality or the education of reality in our state? And as you heard from Mr. Rashmont from the Rights Center, uh, many states are surpassing us and have also passed us in this home. How is that the case in Massachusetts? The answer is very simple. We have simply not chosen to do it. Taking home education not too long ago was the luxury of the athlete. This didn't change by pilot programs. It didn't change by government waiting until just enough economic growth happened for us to be able to pay for it. It changed because we as a state decided that it was good for us and that's good for all of us. We decided that universal access to education was core to the health and the endurance of our democracy and was foundational to our shared prosperity. And once we made that choice and we believed it, we figured out the rest. I urge my colleagues on this committee, and indeed, and I'm not exaggerating when I say every person in the state, to again make another active choice. To choose to accept the facts that are staring us in the face. That early education must be a core part of our education system, just like K-12 has come to be. To choose to act so that every child in our commonwealth may have the same chance to learn and grow and contribute that I dare say all of our children have had, are currently having, no matter for families income. We hear a lot about educational reform in this building, an awful lot, and that's a good thing. It's an, it's an important topic that we ought to be focusing ourselves on, how to close this persistent issue gap that faces us as a state. But for too long, early childhood education has been, as I think our uh, secretary, when he started earlier, he also heard it, um, too long early education has been an afterthought as we, uh, as policymakers and as thought leaders in our state, have focused on sexier and more contentious issues in the education sphere. Let's today shift our focus to the one issue that most of us actually agree on, but we have yet figured out how to deliver to our state. It's time for our discussion on education reform to start where children start at the beginning. So I look forward to working with all of you on this committee um, to make the reality of the session to achieve these goals. Thank you, Madam Chair, for your indulgence. Um, and thank you to all of you who have uh, helped other folks and I'm sort of here today. Um, and I look forward to working with all of you on this committee to achieve these goals. Thank you. 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 Thank you.